It's time for the 1480 Club. Here's John Lewis and Brian O'Neill. Good morning and welcome to the 1480 Club on this Friday. And happy Friday to you all. And happy birthday to two special people today. Mr. Paul Dean, as well as Jessica Nuzenski. Happy birthday to you both on this Friday. And let's get to Shelly with what's happening this weekend locally. Good morning. Good, John. How are you guys? We're doing great. And Shelly, could you give us an update on what's going to be happening this weekend? So tonight is the um, second showing of the Hornell Community Theater Group, The Irish Wake of Patio Tool. And tonight's the last night that you can get tickets at the door. There is another showing on Saturday, um, but those are dinner theater tickets, so they had to be pre-purchased. Our listeners heard about that from Rachel Wolliver on yesterday's show. Are you thinking of going, Shelly? I'm very excited. I'm actually going to the dinner theater production, so I can't wait. And what else? On Saturday, also happening tonight at the Max, um, is a concert by Noche de Dos Locos at the Max, which is on Delaware Ave. Um, and they have everything from, they perform everything from Eric Clapton to Pharrell. Um, so it's a huge variety of, of music, and it starts at 9.30 tonight at the Max. And I hear the follow-up performance, the headlining performance on Saturday is 9 p.m. at the Max is the Badge Men, <laughs> which would be you. You know, Shelly, until you just said that, I didn't. it didn't even cross my mind that you would mention me on the show. But yes, thank you for the plug, my band. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, that's for Saturday. So not a whole lot going on. Um, Saturday, but a lot of fun happening Saturday. So that way your, your choices aren't spread too thin. But Sunday is also a very important day this weekend. So something I haven't had a chance to mention in the past, I don't think, is uh, an event happening at Club 57 this Sunday. It's called Special Needs Family Night Out. And basically what it is, is it's the first time event for anywhere in this region, I think, um, and Lisa Marino has gotten together this event, which is basically a no-judgment zone dinner for families who have special needs children, such as autism or sensory processing or handicap um, restrictions. And so she's created this amazing dinner um, that's going to start at 4 p.m., no-judgment zone, a special buffet-style menu where the kids can make their own pizza, make their own spaghetti, um, as well as meet new friends. Sometimes in a special needs community, parents feel alone or even the kids feel alone with, with some of their restrictions or, or some things that make them special. And thanks to Club 57, we have a dinner happening at 4 p.m. on Sunday that will celebrate those special needs and celebrate new friendships. You do need to make reservations, though, because space is limited in their executive room. So if you need to make a reservation, it's 324-1143. So it's really nice to have such an awesome thing right here in Hornell. Bravo to the club for that. Absolutely. Um, so coming up in the next couple of weeks, we obviously have St. Patrick's Day happening, celebration happening next Saturday, March 12th. And I think there's so much going on that if you don't mind, I'll kind of run through the entire list after it's been firmed up next Friday. Great. Well, we'll have a huge event to talk about next week then. Absolutely. And that's a, that's a great weekend for Hornell, so we look forward to celebrating that. And then kind of looking beyond that, um, we have, uh, for example, uh, a taste of the Maple City, which is happening on March 16th and open to the public at the main place. And that's a, um, a first-time event, and it might be actually the only time they do it in this particular way. Uh, but that's the Hornell Intermediate 6th graders. And they've gone to every Hornell restaurant, and they've taken these little mini videos about what makes those restaurants special um, and kind of giving a little bit of background on their story. So on March 16th, they at 6 p.m., they'll actually play these videos that uh, the kids have done, as well as offer some samples from the restaurant. That sounds really neat. Yeah, so we're really excited about that. Um, we also have March 19th is the third annual Friend of Jason Stern's 
Chickens Barbecue Fundraiser, um, and tickets are available at the Hornell VFW. They're asking for pre-sale, um, meaning they, they're hoping you'll buy the tickets prior to the event, and the pre-sale date being March 12th. And then the number one event besides St. Patrick's Day that Hornell Partners for Growth has asked about in the month of March is when is the Hornell Kiwanis Club Easter Egg Hunt? And we have secured that date. Um, President uh, called us this week and let us know that it's the Saturday before Easter, which is March 26th, and it will start at 11 a.m. prompt. Ages um, that they accommodate are two years old to 10 years old. And although there's 3,000 eggs to pick up, there's a ton of them. There's a ton of eggs, 3,000 eggs. But it goes so fast. The kids are like, crazy fast like they don't clean your house as fast when they're trying to do their chores <laughs> but when there's eggs with candy involved it's done in a split second <laughs> so the Hornell Qantas Club, Club would like to remind the community that it starts at 11 a.m. prom um, so make sure you're there a little bit early so that you can line up by age and that is happening at the Veterans Memorial Park at James Street on the 26th sounds good there's a lot of events that we have happened here in the, in the city that happen annually. And sometimes people don't even realize that the events are so kind of set, they don't change. So it's always, Easter egg hunt is always the Saturday before Easter, the same as the 4th of July is actually always on the 4th of July. So it doesn't matter that this year it's on a Monday we're still having it on the 4th of the month. Makes sense. And I don't know, actually, if your listeners know, I happened to watch the Kiwanis Club set up the Easter eggs one year, and considering the event itself can be done within 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how many kids are there, the Kiwanis Club members, it actually takes them like 3 to 4 hours to get all these eggs down and everything ready. Great. Parents, please make sure to say a quick thank you to the Kiwanis Club members when you're down there, because although you're only going to be down there for a little bit, they've been down there most of the morning. And a great event from the Kiwanis Club there. And Shelly, what a bunch of great events that you're telling us about, and we always appreciate hearing from you on our show. Yes, absolutely. And if at any time you want to know more events further out in advance, they're also on our website at hornellhpg.com. Well, Shelley, thank you for all of this information this morning on a Friday edition of the 1480 Club. We look forward to next week's call as well. Thanks for having me again, guys, and definitely next weekend is St. Patrick's Celebration. Well, thank you, Shelley. And coming up next, Rob Carolyn with Live Weather.